Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy and I help people with their breakups. And I got another story to share today. Um, unfortunately for this person, it's been about 10 days since they sent it. I usually get back within five to seven days, if not quicker. I apologize for that. I do the best I can. And I've been traveling. I had some jet lag. I had the flu yesterday, on and on. Not to make any excuses, just to tell you what's been going on. So, if you have a breakup story you'd like to share, please visit rightmac.com and get it to me, or if you'd like to book a live coaching. Also, I actually do a private YouTube video, so if you feel like you don't want to share your story with the world of YouTube, I do a private YouTube video and send that directly to you, and that's a paid service, but a lot of people like the idea of that, and then I do two um, follow-up emails with you, so check that out if you like. All right. Hi, Mac. Thank you very much for having my story among all the others. No problem. Thank you for saying thank you. And I am 45 years old. He is 50. We've been together for three years in a relationship. It was really amazing. We met a year after his 10-year marriage, ended up with a harsh and hard divorce. What, it was dep I was depressed and lonely, not even surrounded with friends. So when we started the relationship, I changed his life. We loved each other, respected each other. We had some of the same hobbies, but our relationship was a secret one for social reasons. Hmm. Don't freak out. We are both divorced. I have a son. He has no children, but he still wants to start a family and to have children. Well, I don't want. So we started a relationship knowing that it will end one day. This is very interesting. I'm actually going to reread this because I'm a little bit confused because it's, this is not a common thing. We've been together for three years and the relationship was really amazing. We met a year after his 10-year marriage ended. Okay, so he's coming out of a 10-year marriage, okay, with a harsh and hard divorce. Okay, I don't know the details, but it was, it was a mucky, ugly divorce. He was depressed and lonely, not even surrounded. Was, you're saying he was depressed and lonely, not even surrounded. With, so when we started the relationship, I changed his life. That's a big statement. We loved each other, respected each other. We had the same hobbies, but our relationship was a secret one for social reasons. So being a secret relationship, was that serving you or serving him? Because I, doesn't, I don't know if it's serving both of you. Were, were you happy and okay with that? Don't freak out. We are both divorced. I have a son. He has no children, but he still wants to start a family and to have children. Well, I don't want him. So you have a... That's a big divide. That right there just tells you that there's going to be a deadline on the relationship. So we start a relation knowing that and we'll end one day. Well, I mean, I don't know if it'll end one day because you could change your mind. Um, but I mean, he's 50 years old and he wants to start a, a, a family one day. I, go for it. I'm, I'm not saying that's impossible. Um, but obviously, at your age, it's more difficult to become pregnant at 45 years old. I'm not sure it's, it's, it's possible, right? But it's more difficult. So I can understand where you're coming from. But I don't know why you're keeping the relationship a secret. Anyway, a month and a half ago, I found out that he is chatting and talking with a girl. I think I found it out at the very beginning. First, he denied it, invented a story about it. I like that, invented a story. Basically, lied. That's a, that's a nicer, clever way to say he lied to you. I was mad enough then to take a space. I don't know what you mean by that. A few days later, a mutual friend called him and told him that, that I am, sh am sure he is cheating on me. You have, a, you have a secret relationship, but a friend knows about it and is calling to say that you're cheating? I don't understand that either. He called accusing me of being crazy and insisted that this is something about his cousin and that I am an idiot to think that he would hurt me. Usually if someone, I'm not saying this is absolutely true, I wrote, I read a book on this and I can't remember the name of the book, but it was an ex-CIA agent about lying. And if someone gets really, really angry, um, and I don't want to say just denies it, but they're really upset, a lot of times they're usually telling the truth. Um, if they create some kind of BS story or something like that or backpedal, then more, in most cases they're lying. But if someone gets really upset, and says the things that he said. In most cases, he's probably not lying. I apologized, but he was so mad at me that I should never accuse him of such a thing. 
Next day we met, talked about the problem and how much he was hurt during the three days. We didn't communicate and that we should keep talk over and over to be both stronger if for any other reason we broke up. I asked him if he wanted to break up and move on. He said, never. Never is a strong fucking word. So you have a secret relationship. I'm, I'm, my eyes are coming back. But our relationship was a secret one for social reasons. But you never want to break up. But he wants to have a family and you don't, but you never want to break up. This is conflicting. Next day I found out that he was with the girl he denied talking to on the phone talking. I called him, he denied it, but then when I told him that I'm sure, he explained that he is solving a problem between the girl who is having an affair with his brother who is married and that he didn't want to share the story with me. Well, I'm not sure now that you say it like this, he is lying to you and I'm not, I don't know if that something's going on. That's a clever story if he's making it up, but I don't see why he would lie about it and not share that from the get-go. And they didn't want to share the story with him knowing that he never was shy to tell me anything about his family members. Well, I think you already know then. If he's not shy about sharing stuff about family members and then all of a sudden clings and holds his cards tight on this, that's kind of telling. To be honest, I didn't believe him. Gently, in a calm way, I told him that I can't bear lies and then I left. On my way back home, I blocked him on every communication channel he could reach me on. My cell phone, WhatsApp etc. But Facebook, why? Because I think Facebook is just casual posts and he knows that I don't use it for personal reasons and private matters. He kept chatting with the girl. How I know? Because every once in a while I sneak over his and her WhatsApp. That's bad. You need to be, you, you can't be monitoring this guy's relationship with another person. If you broke up and went no contact, you got to go all in and that includes Facebook. You shouldn't be monitoring the situation. If he wants to come back to you and explain what he did, he can. You've, you've already made a strong statement where you say, I just can't trust you anymore, right? And I just don't believe you. And on the flip side, if you want to accept this kind of behavior from him or accept his story, you can do that. But this idea of keeping tabs on him and trying, you, you're trying to play detective, love detective, you don't know. The honest truth is you don't fucking know. I, don't, I, I say that strongly because so many people do this. You, you're putting together a story right now. Oh, I know he was on WhatsApp. What do you know, though? Could it be true that he was talking to his brother? I don't know. Anyway, later on, a mutual friend assured me that the girl was his brother's girlfriend a long time ago. How does a friend know so well? Assured you? Now, what is, and, and why would he get so involved in that? It sounds fishy. Now, what is my question? It is a teenager's question as most people are teenagers on relationships. Okay, you can say that. Could it be... Could it be for a man to have a relationship with his brother's ex? Absolutely possible. Anytime someone's more familiar with someone, they tend to have a more... Familiarity breeds comfort and certainty. So when you... Just like, okay, for example, let me, let me give you another example of this. Most uh, cheating or affairs go on with coworkers. Right? I don't know the statistics. I don't have anything to quote that. Maybe someone can tell me I'm wrong. I'm just going on you know, the th over 350 stories that I've read and the research I've done on it. And the bottom line is when you work with people, you become familiar with them. Right? Maybe you're not intimate, but you're familiar with them and it makes you more comfortable with them. And over time with the opposite sex, in a lot of cases, you're more attracted to them. You know, blind dates are difficult to spark instant attraction. Someone you work with over six months or three months, a year, and if you have a friend or you have a brother in this case, and they have a girlfriend, there's, there's no doubt that in some cases you can become attracted to that person. And over time, you see them at a lot of events and you go, wow, if they ever were single. So yes, absolutely. Was I wrong to break up? If you didn't trust him, if you didn't believe his story, and it was more than one instance, right? And the other part is you said you knew it would never last. On the flip side, he said he would never wanted to break up. So you set the intention early on that you figured that this was going to be a breakup at some moment. So your subconscious was already set at some point to get out or to break up. And you have to ask yourself that question a couple of times. But in, in this case, trust, connection, and attraction are the keys to a relationship. And if trust isn't there after multiple years then it's dust. 
And the only way to get it back is to break up and give it some time away. And then maybe you can re, re uh, strengthen that trust. Does this, does he miss me the way I do? I think he absolutely does miss you. You are very close. Um, I don't know how long you've been in no contact, but I'm sure he misses you. Um, do we still have a chance or should I let it go? Uh, I think in this case, yeah, you have a, you have a chance, but you have to believe his story <laughs> and, or, or get to the bottom of it. And it seems like right now you don't believe his story. What are you going to go back and say, okay, now I, I figured it out that, you know, maybe I was in the wrong and your story is correct. It, it comes down to the main problem was that story. I don't, I don't know about these other issues, though, about uh, him wanting a family and you not ever wanting one and the fact that you have some sort of secret relationship. Those are two other parts to the relationship that aren't healthy that need to be worked on also before you can get back together. Um, and, and like I said, if the trust isn't there, then let it go. If you don't feel like you can trust this story or trust this man moving forward, then let it go. If you feel like you can reconcile the situation and be able to look at this relationship as a long-term thing that's more open and um, overcome the fact that he wants to have a family and you don't. Let's not, let's not get away from that issue because that's big. Um, I'm sorry to be silly, but I need your opinion. You're not silly at all, okay? Good questions. I like that you asked the questions at the end. You obviously read um, the info on my website and what to do. Thank you, Mac, in advance for your patience and your reply. Well, thank you for your patience and waiting for me to respond because it's been a damn while. I think it's been 10 days. And like I said, it's just been a long week for me, okay? So anyone else out there, please visit rightmac.com if you've got a breakup story to tell or you'd like to receive some live coaching from me. Thank you so much.